Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is kind of a what's new in makeup that is not available at Sephora video. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. The first item I have is from Charlotte Tilbury. She released her most recent gold bar highlighter. Now this is what the highlighter looks like. And inside it looks like an actual bar of gold is what the design is. It's so smooth. It's not even like a powder powder. It's kind of almost like one of the NARS dual intensity blushes. Like it has that gel powder formula. It just melts right in. It really makes your skin look like it is golden. Now, um, can we take a look at the size of this highlighter? So in this, you get 0.15 ounces of product. And just as a frame of reference, the Becca highlighters are 0.28 ounces. So they're almost double the amount of product that you get in here. Now, is this product something that you absolutely require in your life? No. There are other highlighters that are just as beautiful. If you want to splurge, this is a very pretty highlighter. Smashbox came out with a new mascara. It's called X-Rated. And the reason I specifically picked this up was because Makeup Shayla on her Snapchat is always using this mascara on her lower lashes. And they just look so good that I had to track this down. I do have it on my lower lashes right now and Makeup Shayla was not joking around. When she says she loves something, I go buy it. That's just, that's our relationship. I did try it on my upper lashes and it was such a fail. It literally did nothing. I just don't understand. But on my lower lashes, for some crazy reason, it is beautiful. It gives me length. It gives me a lot of drama. It makes them look a lot longer and thicker. If you have very short lower lashes, I would maybe try to get something that's specifically designed for lower lashes with a tiny little brush just because the brush on this is a little bit bigger and it might become messy when you're trying to apply it really close to your lash line. This has kind of more of a moussey texture or it's thicker in texture which means that it's really going to give you a lot of drama and it might have the potential to clump your lashes a little bit, but I personally like a little bit of clumpiness because I feel like it adds that drama that I really love in lashes. NYX just released a few new products. One of the new products are their NYX Vivid Brights liquid liners. They come in these crazy neon pastel, like really, really cool, pretty color variety. It's a brush tip and it's just so vibrant. This is long wearing enough where it won't smear and it won't transfer, but you can take it off whenever you're done wearing it. This is a great way to experiment with color. Eyeliner is always awesome because it's a lot more subtle than wearing colored eyeshadow or lips, usually because your mascara kind of blocks a lot of the color. So it's just kind of like a little peak of color. Go check these out. They have crazy cool colors and it's a really fun way to just play with makeup. Next from NYX, they had a shade extension on their soft matte lip creams and also their intense butter glosses and their normal butter glosses, but the colors I wanted in the normal butter gloss were out. The shade that I picked up is called Peanut Brittle and it's kind of a warm nude. Do you see how pigmented they are? They're so, so pretty. So the reason I picked this up is because I don't really reach for warm nudes particularly, but there are certain times when I'm doing a specific makeup look and I'm like, oh, like this specific kind of terracotta almost peachy nude would be perfect, you know, with this eye look. And I thought this is a great way for me to get this color without buying super high end because I don't really use this color that often at all. So this is the perfect way for me to have the color. Amazing quality. These are not sticky at all. They are a little bit thicker than the original butter glosses, but they are so pigmented. They're basically like a glossy liquid lipstick 
and they're amazing. For the matte lip cream extension, I got the shade Dubai. It's a super dark mauve brown. I think it's such a unique color. It's gonna be so flattering on every single skin tone. They don't dry into a super, super matte finish. It's a matte cream, so they're not so long wearing. So if you're looking for a liquid lipstick that's going to not budge, this is not that. But if you're looking for just pretty colors and a comfortable matte finish, then check these out. They're ugh, fantastic. Also from NYX, this product is so cool. It is their new Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. This is what the inside looks like. These are all shimmer colors. I'm wearing these two on my cheekbones and I'm wearing this light one on my inner corner. I think that this palette is so worth chasing down and buying. So that's what the powders look like. I mean, I barely touch the powders to swatch these. The powders are so soft, so smooth, so blendable, and the colors that are given to you in this palette are so versatile and perfect for every single skin tone. It's NYX, it's a great price, phenomenal quality. There's literally nothing bad that I could say about this product. Lastly from NYX, I have one of the new Full Throttle lipsticks. I got mine in the shade Kiss the Dust. These are cream to matte finish long wear lipsticks. So when you apply these, they go on really slippery and thin. As they set onto your lips, they dry down into a matte. The top of these is slanted. I didn't notice it helping me apply it easier. I also feel that once you kind of use it a few times, like I've used this a couple times and it has worn down, like I'm pretty sure it's gonna go flat. I really like this color. I think it's a beautiful, super flattering deep nude shade for everybody. To be honest, these are incredibly similar to the Sephora brand long wear lipsticks. They come in a skinny little tube, they apply very similarly, and then they dry down into the same matte texture. This, I might even dare say that it's just a tad bit more comfortable than the Sephora ones, but the Sephora ones are awesome, and I think those are just mildly more long wearing, but these are amazing. There's a bunch of great colors for these as well. Definitely go check these out. Estee Lauder came out with a new line of Pure Color Envy lip glosses. I got mine in the shade Inspired Mauve 410 and Discreet Nude 110. They come in shimmers and also just cream colors without shimmer. They are a little bit thicker and they're not quite as comfortable as the NYX Intense Gloss is, but they're pretty colors. The one thing that I do like about this gloss is the applicator. It has a doe foot applicator, but if you can see, it's actually flat and it's a little bit longer with more of a pointed tip. So it's easy to get into the exact shape of your lip with the applicator. On the bottom is Intense Mauve and on the top is Discreet Nude. Intense Mauve has kind of like a duochrome where you have a little bit of that pinky purple and then you have a duochrome of gold running through it. The Discreet Nude is pretty much just a nude base with gold glitter. They're nice glosses. Are they anything you have to get? No, not at all. Dose of Colors came out with new liquid lipsticks. Dose of Colors is my favorite liquid lipstick formula ever. They feel like you have nothing on your lips pretty much. They are a little bit drying, but in comparison to other liquid lipsticks I've tried, these are far less drying. They're so pigmented, so easy to apply. The doe foot applicator on these is kind of slanted to a sharper point, so you really don't need a lip liner. It's so easy to just kind of trace the shape of your lip with that point. This right here is Desert Suede. This is Cork, this is Mood, and the last one is Chocolate Wasted. 
On my lips right now, I am wearing Desert Suede and I love it. You need dose of colors in your life. Next, I have two palettes from Morphe Brushes. I kind of want to say they're called their professional palettes. They have, I believe, four or five different shade options in these palettes. So I picked up 12S and 12Z. So these are what the palettes look like and the shades inside. These palettes are pretty inexpensive, plus you can use coupon codes from Jaclyn Hill and a bunch of other YouTubers. So you can get these for a great, great price. These are some of the shades from both palettes. Right now, I'm actually wearing this shade from the 12S underneath my lash line, kind of smoked out. The quality of the eyeshadows is fantastic. Each palette is filled with such unique colors, and they're all paired together so well that you can really create entire looks with each palette. As far as the ingredients are concerned, these palettes do use talc and other ingredients that some people may be allergic to. I haven't had any issues and I know so many people that use the Morphe shadows that have not had problems so you should be safe unless you know for a fact you are allergic to talc or the other ingredients but all in all Morphe palettes I really like them. Now I do want to be completely open with you guys I was sent this product however I knew about the brand before they reached out to me and I had heard about it I had researched a little bit and I was interested in trying it. And the brand is Nug Beauty. So Nug Beauty essentially is a company that creates masks in these little pods. So they're really easy for travel. They're kind of on-the-go products that work for any lifestyle, which is why originally, before they had even contacted me, I was interested because I am constantly, constantly traveling. So to travel with masks that are like this size are pretty cool. Now they sent me a set of four, which is their four day intense skin treatment sensitive slash troubled skin set. It comes with one of the cucumber face masks for deep cleansing and then three of the face mask soothing shea butter and chamomile extract masks. Technically, you're supposed to use this cucumber one first and then the other ones and there's like directions at the back on how to get the most effective results with this specific set. But I actually just went ahead and tried one of the soothing ones because I kind of wanted to see how the mask would do on my skin alone. Because realistically speaking, I don't use a mask every single day. And if I'm traveling, I definitely don't have time to use a mask every single day. I really like these masks. Again, I'm clearly telling you guys I was sent this product, but if you know me by now or if you don't, let me tell you that I would never, ever, ever just say something or give a false opinion because a company sends something to me. I'm not on YouTube to get sponsorships and get free stuff because you know that I have no problem spending all my money on makeup stuff considering all I do is new beauty reviews and hauls. That being said, the soothing mask felt really nice on my skin. It was kind of a refreshing but still calming experience. My skin felt refreshed, it felt hydrated, and to me hydration equals solution to everything. So I like these masks. I will definitely be traveling with the other three, so if you're interested in Nug Beauty, go check them out. Moving on to the one or several items that I am so excited to share with you guys, and they are the Glitter Injection Pressed pigments yeah. <laughs> like could you just faint these are by a brand called glitter injections they're known as a brand for really finely milled incredibly diverse colored glitters in oversized syringes they came out with pressed versions of their glitter injections and I bought a bundle because I'm extra like that and I saw swatches on Instagram and I was like no but really 
I need all of them. So I bought a bundle and it comes with half. There are another 12 different shades. This is how I received it in the mail. It's actually a magnetized photo frame. And I thought that was so cute because yes, I would absolutely keep these on display in my room as decoration. Today I am wearing the purple one and the blue purple. Actually the purple is kind of like a duochrome of pink and purple. And this is a duochrome of blue and purple. If you can see there is a little Little bit of transfer right on top in the center of my lid on the crease. One of the downsides to these glitters is that if you have hooded eyes, you will have transferring if you use it on your entire lid. Now when I'm looking straight forward, you can't see the transfer, but when I look down, or like this, you can kind of see the transfer then. Does it bother me? No, because look at that glitter though. The only other issue that I had with this is that the glitter is stubborn. Now that's good and bad. So the good part is that it actually lays down like a real eyeshadow. I have just a little bit of this Too Faced Shadow Insurance glitter glue underneath, but when you apply it, it really does apply kind of like a pigment and it sticks. As I'm talking or blinking, I've been filming for a while now and I don't have glitter all over my face. Like it's stuck where I put it. Now there is a little bit of mild movement, but Compared to other glitters that I have used in the past, nothing near as messy as those. What I was saying with Stubborn though, the downside is that when you go to clean up, the glitter like does not come off of your skin. So I went in with the Sephora brand uh, triple action cleansing water and it actually worked really well. I just used this on a q-tip and I was able to clean up the majority of the glitter. That being said, you're working with glitter, so just know that if there's a couple particles here and there, it's okay. Like, we all know that it's glitter and it's too beautiful on your lids for anyone to care, or at least that's how I feel about glitter and shiny things. The last downside is that it does crease if you put too much. So I made the mistake just now because I was a little too excited of applying like an extra layer and it became a little bit thicker than it should have and I am now having mild creasing on my lid. If you just apply it in one layer and it's kind of flush against your skin, you shouldn't actually have a problem with creasing because it's essentially like a glitter pigment. It's very cool. So now let me get to the pros. They don't move around as much as I was expecting. They're crazy pigmented, like they're pure glitter color. When you're applying them though, don't tap them onto your lid, drag them onto your lid. So you can use your finger to apply these, but what I liked doing is using a flat, larger brush because I was able to get more precision than my fingers were giving me. This is the Sigma Large Shader E60 brush, and I just dragged this in, and then I dragged it onto my lid. So these are five of the glitters. Like, what I have not come across an item that is so exciting to me in the makeup world in a little bit. Like I thought I did, but then these came out and I was like, no JK, you win. So uh, go check these out. These are glitter injection pressed pan pigments. I don't know, but they're magic and you all need them in your life please and thank you. So that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed all the goodies that I had as well as my little mini take and opinion on all of the items. Leave a comment down below for me and let me know what video you guys wanna see next and I will get on that ASAP. But until my next video, thank you guys as always for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.